Imagine spending 300 hours mastering coding interview questions only to lose your dream job to someone who used an AI assistant that solves the problems for them. Well, that's just great. That's exactly what's happening at Google, Amazon, and Meta right now. Let me explain more by first talking about LeetCode. In case you didn't know, LeetCode is an online platform offering algorithm and data structure challenges. All the major tech companies use it as their go-to technical interview format. For years, it's been the gatekeeper for high paying software engineering jobs, with success on these time puzzles often determining whether candidates make it past the first few rounds of interviews. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that there are a wave of new AI tools out there that can solve leak code problems. What's more, they can solve these problems instantly and completely undetectably during interviews. For example, one of the tools that's gained a lot of coverage lately is Interview Coder. The guy who created it is a Columbia University student and he claims to have landed internships at Amazon, Meta and TikTok using it. He's even published a video showing how he passed an Amazon an interview live with AI assistance. Let's take a look at it. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you because I believe this is having a huge impact on the software engineering job market. Right now, I'm sure that the vast majority of major companies know that these AI cheating tools exist, but I think only a small percentage of software engineers actually know about them. If more people know that this is happening, then companies will have to take the problem more seriously. Because right now, for the honest candidates out there who are grinding leak code for their technical interviews, interviews, they're entering an unfair playing field. For companies, there's a growing crisis of trust in their hiring process. If they're relying so heavily on these technical interviews, how can they be sure they're hiring truly qualified engineers? Now, there is some noise out there about how companies are starting to rethink their hiring processes. For example, Google's CEO has recently suggested returning to in-person interviews to prevent cheating. Interviewers are starting to rightly fully be trained to ask follow-up questions that test genuine understanding. And companies are experimenting with alternative assessments like system design interviews, take-home projects, and pair programming sessions. But for now, many companies are still stuck using leak code style problems while trying to figure out what's next. Look, here's my honest opinion of all this. Cheating on an interview is morally wrong on so many levels. And to be honest, if you decide to do it, you'll be found out sooner or later anyway. But something is going to have to change. Now, having worked as a software engineer for nearly 20 years, I've seen firsthand how much more there is to this job than just solving coding puzzles under a time pressure. Sure, platforms like Leak Code have their uses, but companies have relied on it too much as a one-size-fits-all solution. The reality is that most of engineering is about more than coding. It's about understanding requirements, solving problems, researching solutions, collaborating with teammates, and then communicating your ideas. I've always found it unfair that so much weight is placed on pure technical skills in interviews. Not enough time is spent assessing soft skills like communication, teamwork, and adaptability. A more balanced approach would combine technical assessments with evaluations of real-world engineering skills like designing systems, explaining trade-offs, or reviewing code collaboratively. So if you're job hunting right now, what are some things you can do? The first thing is to stay informed about changes in interview practices. There's a good chance that in-person interviews will become more commonplace, or you'll at least have to spend more time explaining the code you're writing. The next thing is to focus on building practical projects that showcase your skills. Even if you still have to go through a technical interview, when you have a portfolio of projects ready to show interviewers, this will put you at a real advantage. 
Finally, be ready for more diverse interview formats. You might be asked to go into more system design or even whiteboarding sessions, for example. And whether you're preparing for an online or in-person interview, that's where Educative.io, the partner for today's video, can help. Educative recently released a brand new personalized interview prep tool. Here's how it works. You select your target role, company, and interview date. Educative then builds a customized roadmap specifically for you. That roadmap is filled with interactive coding challenges and relevant practice problems. One thing that really impressed me most is that Educative even have an interactive whiteboarding tool. This lets you actually practice diagramming your system design solutions and getting feedback on them. There's even voice to text capability for the interviews, so you can actually recreate the real time high pressure interview experience. If that sounds interesting, then make sure you check out the link in the description for a huge discount on an educative subscription. So the leak code era might be ending, but I highly doubt it's the end of technical interviews. Hopefully they'll just evolve into something better and more balanced. But what do you think? Is the end of leak cold culture a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.